There is something we've been discussing since Monday when the news broke about Chris Land and the reaction of the school. Um, and then now the government has reacted by closing down the school. There are people saying it makes sense to close down the school. Some people are saying it doesn't make sense to close down the school. What is your own view concerning Chris Land and the reaction of the government towards the school? I know that when tempers are high, we always um, quickly take decisions that we may, at the end of the day, regret. When we are calmer, we now see the errors of those decisions. And that's why when things are heating up, it's advised that you stay calm and observe the situation before you take a decision. So um, I know in our homes, we have this egg that will just spoil in the crates. We don't take the whole crate and trash it because there's a spot egg there. We take out the spot egg, we bring out the other eggs, we clean them out and we rearrange them so that you do not hurt every other person who is uh, not guilty of what you're you know, talking about or what you're dealing with. So um, going to close the school down because of what happened in Dubai is extreme for me because now they may have thousands of students and this is examination time, where they are going to be writing some uh, write, registration for NECO, WAYEC, and all that. And you close down the school because something has happened. You end up hurting other children. Right now, the parents are confused. Where do we take our children to? Our schools are not really receiving people now. This is the beginning of a new term. And do we want to change the school and then they reopen and we take the children back? Or it's, it's confusing for, for Did you share this opinion when Doen was happening? No, no yeah, I've never it, it, agreed with closing down the school. So my position is, um, you don't close down the school. You can start by, let's say, fining the school. You can start by giving them uh, punishment measures. You can start by taking out the leadership, you know, changing certain things in the school, but do not affect the curricula of the other students who are not guilty in the first place. So I want Kessie to come from, I don't want you to come as a mother, because I know that there is the part of being a mother, mm. there is the angle of a business, yeah. because it is a business, and there's the angle of regulation. I want the legal perspective and regulation perspective from you. Um, the, school, the, the school has been shut down. Is that, the, is that, is that legal? My, my approach to this would be, what is the government trying to achieve? Mm. I think when you look at everything holistically, my <coughs> own issue with the school mm. is, it seems like there was a level of concealment mm. of yeah, what happened. Up. You know, if this kind of thing happened, you need to involve the parents, you need to bring it to their attention, you need to deal with the process. Can you report yourself to the government that this issue has happened? Well, you see, again, it's a tricky one because minors are involved. Mm. You understand? <coughs> so there has to be some sort of balance. Mm. You know, like when you read some, some reviews and there is a minor that is standing charge, they blow their face because they are minors. Mm. You know, and we're talking about a primary school. So, can the government legally shut down a school? Capital, yes. Because they're the regulators. Mm. You know, they license them. If you license, you can penalize and you can do as you wish under your regulatory conditions. Now, should the school have been shut down by the government? I think maybe not. Look at what is happening in Russia mm. and Chelsea. Mm. Mm. They're trying to get Abramovich. Mm. And then they sanction him in such a way that it hurts him without necessarily destroying the club. Mm. So you can do that. You can say, we need, we can query the teachers that are with them, suspend the so teachers, you're seeking more go creativity. through the process. Yes. You see, you know, shutting down the school just looks like, you know, throwing away the baby with the dead bath With the bath water. water. Yeah. I, I agree totally with what Obia and the school Casey to have open? said. I, the school, I don't think the school should have even been closed. They should have isolated the cases, like Obia Julu said, and dealt with the issue. The um, case he said there was concealment. Yes, the school is, I've, I've said it from day one, that the school too is liable and culpable yeah. because <coughs> the level of concealment. I, though I was reading a point today that apparently last week they had reported to the police about the matter. I don't know. I just read it in the punch this morning. I think it's a bit, it's too... Because, Reactionary. Because, yes. Closing not just one school, the school where the I, whole campus. The whole six all schools. Over, yes, yeah. When um, lives were lost in, in Queen's College. Yeah. Yes. 
They didn't co close Queen's College. Yes. I know Lagos State don't, don't have power over Queen's College, but Queen's College, even till today, you still feel there wasn't justice there? There wasn't justice served for mm. Queen's College, mm. for the Queen's College students that were involved in that matter. Mm. Do you understand? You know? So I think, um, <clears throat> I know this is a... Am I hearing you say because it's a private school? Uh, no, not because it's a private school. Be, I'm, if it was because it was a, a private school, they should close them down. Because they're making money. They're making big money, mm -hmm. as far as I'm concerned. The students, the children that they don't have any business in this matter, what are they going to do? 